Weather Alert Center. Since you and I came on live at 5 a.m. this mm -hmm. morning, uh, I've seen the ice and the frost on our roadways just really expand, Brooke. Right, you know, we're taking a live look right now into Kalispell. A few moments ago, visibility was actually pretty decent for you in the Flathead Valley. And that's kind of the story for you this morning. Fluctuating visibility, live look, Sportsman's Ski House weather camera. Uh, visibility back down from this vantage point. That temperature is at 27. And uh, with that temperature below the freezing mark, when that fall comes into contact with the ground, it's putting that, down that thin layer of frost. And we've got scattered frost and ice being reported uh, for all areas west of the divide, including the Missoula area this morning, where visibility has been as low as a quarter of a mile. High pressure continues to be our dominant feature and that means we've got that inversion that's going to keep that colder air locked in the Missoula and Bitterroot Valley today. But once we get into your Tuesday, really as early as this evening, we're tracking increasing clouds. And by Tuesday morning, we'll see a couple of hit or miss showers moving in to you far northwest Montana, maybe along the Montana-Idaho border. But our concern for tomorrow will be for pockets of freezing rain mixed in at times. A shower chance is only about a 20 to 30 percent chance. But uh, as we know from recent weeks, when we do see that freezing rain, it really creates just some headaches on our roadways. Make sure you stay alert to changing weather conditions. Download our NBC Montana weather app by searching NBC Montana in your app store. Once we get into your weekend, we are tracking a front that could bring us some accumulating snow. Here's today's forecast. So there's uh, inversions impacting temperatures. You can see it 33 today, Kalispell 30 in Missoula. Butte and Bozeman not as warm as you were yesterday. Yesterday it was 47. But you're still going to be at 45 in Bozeman. That's still 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. Tonight, overnight lows, not too bad, mid-20s, but there could be some fog forming for us uh, overnight, but also a few hit or miss showers moving in late tonight and early Tuesday. Best location will be in northwest Montana, but that said, it only it's only about a 20 to 30 percent chance. Notice your temperature is warming up. First day of winter, 39 for high and callow spell. Front moves in this weekend, few showers on Saturday. Uh, daytime highs will drop back into the low 30s, so near normal by Christmas Day for Missoula 10 day forecast clouds uh, fog. That's what we've got going on for the next couple of days. Temperatures mid 30s for us Wednesday 43 for the first day of winter dropping back into the mid 30s behind the front. We'll see a couple of snow showers Saturday and again mountain passes could see a couple of inches of snowfall. No major storm system moving in, but it's a big travel weekend and you could encounter some slick roadways. For Butte, your 10 day forecast still in the 40s again tomorrow into your Wednesday. Uh, 43 degrees for high the first day of winter dropping into the 30s though this weekend. And that's a little closer to normal for this time of year. Typically you should be hanging out right around the 30 degree mark with lows in the single digits. We'll keep our lows in the teens through next week, but those daytime highs will drop back into the 30s. For Bozeman, your 10 day forecast 48 on Tuesday, 47 Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be a warm start to winter with plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will drop back into the 30s. Christmas Eve looking for a daytime high of 33 degrees. There is a slight chance that we could see a couple of showers, but as far as seeing any major accumulation in our valley locations, that is not going to be the case this Christmas. Brooke, when you and I came on live at five, we had some frost and ice on the roadways around Columbia Falls and Superior. Mm -hmm. Now that has extended all the way out up toward Libby, down toward St. Ignatius and east and west of Missoula as well. All right, you know, it's definitely going to cause some slowdowns this morning because of that fog. Visibility is less than a quarter of a mile at times, and it is creating those slick roads. And with that, you'll need our NBC Montana. Thanks, Brooke, by the way. Uh, you'll need to download our NBC Montana news and weather apps so we can get weather alerts to you 24 hours a day. Coming up, we are checking for the latest on a commercial fire that destroyed an industrial building in East Missoula. 652, a live look for you over Dillon. Wow, some pretty colors in the live morning.